kilimo chapa bush beans should be planted in line a row to support each other use a hoe to stretch out rows or dig individual planting holes with a trowel drop in 2 to 3 seeds per hole and these two or three seeds should fall about 1 inch that is 2.5 cm apart and are 1 to 2 inches that is 2.5 cm to 5 cm deep within the same hole You can build bamboo trellises for pole beans before planting the seeds. If your home is barricaded with fence, you can plant your pole beans or butter beans next to the fence so that you use the fence as a trellising system for the beans. Garden spacing is the same whether growing for seed or to eat. Growing pole beans give you the advantage of maximizing your space and the beans grow straighter and are easier to pick. Bush type bean plants need no support, require little care and can be picked whenever you are ready to cook or freeze them. They typically produce an early crop too, so successive plantings may be necessary for a continual harvest. Water in the morning so that the plants can dry rapidly and avoid fungal disease. Water moderately to half an inch of water per week, which is about 13 mm per week, and avoid watering the plant tops. Beans require a minimum of 400 mm to 500 mm rainfall during its growing season, but totals of 600 mm to 650 mm is considered ideal. Irrigation is also required where the crop is growing before or after the raining season. However, the best time to grow beans is just before the rains have started. Most farmers plant beans and maize or corn together so that when it rains the maize helps protect bean flowers from being destroyed by heavy raindrops the critical growth stage requiring rainfall or irrigation is during flowering and pod set irrigation should stop when roughly 25% of the bean pods have turned yellow when flowering starts that is the time to apply top dressing fertilizer calcium sulfate fit gypsum at the rate of 250 kg per hectare if you use animal manure or compost or any other organic manure they don't need to apply top dressing at this stage but if you add extra manure to your beans you would have done extremely well and they will reward you with more flowers and a subsequent better harvest Continue watering your beans 2 to 3 times a week. The maximum temperature during the flowering period should not exceed 30 degrees Celsius as high temperatures will cause flower drop and thus low pod set resulting in depressed yields. Any weeds that do peek through should be removed by hand to avoid disturbing the bean plant's roots. Beans can be harvested in the snap or green stage, the shelling stage or the dry stage. Snap or green beans are ready for harvest when the pods are still tender before the seed starts to swell. Shelling beans are ready for harvest after the pod has changed color and the beans have plumped, but before the pods and seeds have dried. Dry beans are ready for harvest when the pods are dry and brittle and the seeds inside are hard. Beans can be stored dry for months or years. They last in the refrigerator for about a week. Common problems beans farmers face include bean weevil, stem nematodes, downy mildew, leaf and pod spot, chocolate spot, black bean aphid, bean seed beetle, bean rust, sclerotinia, cutworms. white mold and mosaic viruses most fungal diseases can be prevented or treated if spotted early by simply applying neem oil or copper oxychloride apply once in 2 weeks or when necessary for cutworms white grubs that eat your beans root and other pests apply lambda twice a month or when necessary common beans can be affected by a number of diseases some of these diseases can remain in the soil for several years so grow your beans in different areas of the garden each year to prevent the spread of fungal and bacterial diseases among plants avoid working in your bean patch when the foliage is wet the best way to get rid of beetles and bugs that might eat the leaves of your plant is to pick them off and toss them into a jar of soapy water 
If you see a white film in the leaves, pull them off and throw them away. Dilute one part powdered milk in nine parts water and spray plant once a week. This neutralizes the infection at the early stages and prevents further infestation. Diseases such as rust, angular leaf spot, anthracnose, and viral diseases should be kept under check with fungicides such as neem oil and copper oxychloride or mancozeb. The farmer should constantly check for pests such as bean fly maggot aphids, thrips, and ballworms. Towards the end of the season, it's worth leaving a few pods of open pollinated or heirloom varieties to dry out on the plant. Shell the dried pods, then bring the beans inside to dry further in an airy location. Store the beans in paper envelopes, label with the variety and that, then use them for next year's crop. After harvesting your beans, plant your cabbages on the same field as beans leave a lot of nitrogen in the soil and that nitrogen will help to harvest healthy and big cabbages. For Kilimo Chapa, Rida Kering Chibet. Kilimo Chapa.